The introduction of Japanese aesthetics in the 19th century radically transformed the practices and techniques of Western artists. In the 1850s, Western powers compelled Japan to open to international trade following more than two centuries of self-imposed isolation. Thereafter, Japan sent delegates to the West to shape its image abroad and ship porcelains, bronzes, and other works of art for display at world's fairs. Western artists, seeking alternatives to the dominant artistic styles of the time, took fresh inspiration from Japanese art. Imports from the region sparked a popular fashion for things Japanese, a phenomenon dubbed Japonisme by French writers. The most direct impact was in the decorative arts, where Japanese designs were often copied or imaginatively recombined. In this French ink stand, the artist added a depiction of Japan's Mount Fuji in addition to other motifs. Here, Japanese-style designs of butterflies and flowers were used to adorn a European metal tea set. Many Western painters incorporated Japanese art and clothing in their works as fashionable props, such as this folding screen and this silk kimono. American artist Charles Carroll Coleman included a Japanese bronze vase and patterned silk fabric into this still life painting. Painting formats also changed in response to Japanese models. Here, Coleman used the narrow vertical format of a Japanese hanging scroll. Instead of the shading and realistic modeling typical of traditional Western paintings and prints, Japanese prints relied on solid areas of color and pattern, as in this print by Kikukawa Eisan. A similar flattening effect can be seen in this work by Mary Cassatt. Patterns of rhythmically arranged feathers or petals in Japanese prints had an impact on print design in Europe and North America as well. Repeated motifs, like the trees in this print by Katsushika Hokuzai, inspired similar experiments by Western painters. Utagawa Hiroshige radically enlarged compositional elements, pressing them flat against the picture plane. Here, a large red lantern and gatepost frame a view into space. Poster designers in France and America use similar techniques to create bold graphic emblems of modern urban life. The bright colors, strong diagonals, and asymmetry of Japanese prints were among the other elements admired in the West. In fact, the borrowing flowed both ways. Japanese artists also had a history of experimenting with Western practices. Looking East examines how motifs and techniques from Japan sparked new creative expression in the West. As you explore the galleries, look for the shared artistic devices in the Japanese and Western artworks on view.